Hey YouTubers, it's Nick540 here, and today I'm going to be talking about my two favorite bullion coins and asking for an opinion from all of you from the Precious Metals community. The reason why I'm doing this is if I do decide to buy a large purchase of metals, I want to know what you guys think is um, a better go. Um, I know most of you are probably in the States, so I'm trying to make this non-Canadian centric or American centric. So I guess you know the two coins I'm talking about already. Before I start though, I did want to say I got uh, uh, Chapters Indigo $25 gift card for Christmas and I picked up this book for $26. Bucks. Um, so I'm going to take a look through it. I haven't opened it uh, and read anything yet. It literally just came today. So I'm looking forward to that and I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, so yeah, I've first dummies series I've ever read. So today I'm going to be talking, of course, as I kind of alluded to earlier, about the Silver Maple Leaf and the Silver American Eagle. And a couple, uh, so these are my two favorite bullion coins. Both of the ones you see in front of you are from 2013. And I want to know which one you guys like more please comment and let me know a um, couple notable differences are the maple has a smaller diameter but uh, uh radius wise but a, a thicker coin and uh, the eagle has a wider uh, diameter but a thinner coin and a little bit different reeded edges this one's a little bit thicker reeded this one's more tightly tightly reeded i've noted both of these are 2013 so i thought i would do that to make uh, some fair comparisons. So you can see here 2013, and this one here you can see as well. I don't know, yeah, right, right there, sorry, it's on the back. Um, so both of these are 2013, and these are both tubes of 2013. I know when buying tubes in the Eagles, you get 20 and the Maples are 25. These are both 2013s. Uh, so that's a tube difference. Another difference um, is uh, the milk spotting that you get on the the maple and uh, that you can see on this coin is an issue I find it less of an issue on their newer coins um, so I prefer the eagle with regards to that they don't get milk spotting spark, uh, spotting but I also don't mind the milk spotting because it's it means it's a real coin for the most part you can you can tell it's a legit uh, maple it's kind of their trademark almost uh, another thing I prefer about the maple is the $5 face value, even though it's $5 Canadian, I still prefer that. And uh, But I find the imagery, compared to the $1 face value, um, I do like that the Eagle has that flip, whereas you have to flip it like that, whereas uh, it's on the same side, this way, like it's facing the same way. And um, a couple other things are that I do like how the Maple also has... 4.9 versus 3.9 and its purity. Now, these are my two favorite. I cannot pick a favorite between the two. I happen to now have more maples and eagles, but that wasn't the case for a long time. And they're pretty close. I have the most of these two. One of the things I do prefer about the maples now, you can see what happened in 2014, is the security feature. That is a huge selling point for me. And I know that it's not hard to, for, to make fakes of that either. But that and the lessening of the milk spots on the newer ones with the radial lines is a huge selling feature for me. I love the radial lines on this. It gives it lots of security features. Um, so I think in the future, buying maples, I would go with one of these. So I want to know what you guys would do. What, what would be your preference on these two? Both of them are pretty world-renowned. Um, and again, not being American-centric, I know... A lot of Americans probably think the Eagle's more world-renowned. I, I, I would argue that. I'd say it's probably pretty equal here. Um, even though the population of the United States is higher, I, I would say, you know, this co bullion coin has been around longer. Um, and uh, the, the iconic maple is kind of... I think it would be a hard-pressed argument. I don't know the numbers on that, but I think... Uh, and it also has to do with how many are minted, I'm sure, and sold. Uh, and I think the numbers are pretty close. I'd, I'd be very interested to see that. If someone knows, post that as well. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Just you, you don't have to write a long thing. Just write maple or, versus, uh, or eagle, whatever your preference is. I'm going to tally it up, do a video, um, and it will help me actually make that buying decision. Because honestly... 
even though I said there were a few things I did prefer about the maple in this video, that's not the truth. I absolutely love the eagle. I think it's a stunning coin. Um, I think that uh, the U.S. Mint has done a fantastic job on this coin. It's just phenomenal. Both of them are. Um, if I would say that uh, prior to the new uh, security features, I would have taken the eagle. Now I'm having a hard time between the two. Um, I, they're they're literally my favorite bullion coins, more so than any of the Australian Kookaburros, Perth Mint, Lunar Series. I would say my, my third would be actually the Austrian Philharmonic. I absolutely love that coin. Um, I have uh, this in one ounce gold. I'm soon going to get a one ounce of that, except that it's not uh, pure uh, four nines. So the taxes on that have prevented me from doing that. But um, both of them are fantastic coins. So I'm interested to hear what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.